Vietnam is a small country located in Southeast Asia that is home to numerous beautiful landmarks for travelers to visit. In addition to its scenic beauty, the country boasts an extremely diverse culture that often surprises many visitors. A notable example is the chaotic and incessant traffic situation in Vietnam, where road rules may seem disregarded. Furthermore, the cuisine can be intimidating with dishes like raw blood soup and duck embryo eggs. The rare midday nap culture is also unique to Vietnam. Join me in exploring the beautiful Asian country of Vietnam to experience 10 things that are sure to shock tourists when they set foot in this nation. Number 1. Extremely chaotic traffic. You may think the traffic in Beijing is bad, but it's nothing compared to Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City. The roads here are packed with millions of motorcycles. According to the Vietnam Motorcycle Manufacturers Association, there were around 72 million motorcycles in Vietnam by the end of 2022, which means there are roughly two motorcycles for every three Vietnamese. Sidewalks have turned into parking spaces, forcing pedestrians to walk on the road. This has created a chaotic mix of pedestrians, cars, motorcycles, cargo carrying bicycles, buses, and containers sharing the same space. People seem to navigate this chaos by honking their horns, not necessarily to warn others but more as a way to make their presence known. Surprisingly, this method of movement is effective as there are very few accidents on the roads. Sometimes people continue moving even when the traffic lights are red or green which can make it confusing for tourists, especially during rush hours. It's truly dreadful, and you wouldn't want to step onto the road. Number 2. Rustic Tobacco Smoking. Vietnamese people not only smoke cigarettes, but they also have a traditional way of smoking strong tobacco. Rustic tobacco smoking has been a part of Vietnamese culture for generations. In rural areas of Vietnam, almost every household used to have a smoking pipe. Rustic tobacco is a unique specialty found only in Vietnam. The entire process from cultivation, processing, and trading to smoking is known only by the Vietnamese. If you visit any sidewalk tea stall in Vietnam, you're likely to come across a rustic tobacco pipe. When smoking, you have to take a strong inhale, producing a loud sound. For those trying it for the first time, it can be dizzying and leave them unable to stand. Number 3. Noisy Funerals Vietnamese funerals are not the quiet, sad affairs you might expect. In fact, they are noisy and lively. When a neighbor passes away in Vietnam, it's common for people to gather and make a lot of noise, including drinking alcohol, singing karaoke, playing drums, and having a band with brass instruments. This might seem unusual, but there are two reasons for the noisy atmosphere. First, the lively sounds are believed to keep evil spirits away, and second, the festive atmosphere is meant to give the departed a joyful send-off. In some northern regions, there are even professional mourners who are hired to cry and speak about the deceased's life and accomplishments. These mourners are skilled at touching the hearts of the bereaved and guests, often prompting tears from those in attendance. So, a standard mourning expert in Vietnam must have a strong voice and the ability to cry at funerals moving others to shed tears as well. Number 4. Surviving Flooded Streets. When you visit Vietnam, one experience you might remember is navigating flooded streets, especially during the heavy rainy season. Some streets get flooded, making transportation more challenging. However, the locals carry on with their lives, skillfully maneuvering their motorcycles through the water. If you find yourself on a flooded road, don't worry, there are alternative options such as taking a taxi or a motorbike taxi instead of wading through the water. Some may feel safer walking on the sidewalk since they are higher than the flooded streets. During heavy rain, even the sidewalks might get submerged, turning the city into a giant swimming pool. Some find it exciting to wade through the water, but remember to take thorough foot hygiene precautions afterward. In fact, there are even those who bring out boats to paddle through the streets on flood days. Number 5. Cheap Tobacco. The price of a pack of cigarettes in Vietnam is around or below $1 US, making it one of the cheapest in the world. One reason for the low cigarette prices and the relatively high smoking rate in Vietnam is the low tobacco tax. In contrast, tobacco prices in Australia are exorbitant due to high taxes. To purchase a pack of cigarettes for $25 in Australia, 
you would have to pay a staggering $18 in taxes. Perhaps that's why you'll encounter many smokers when visiting this country. Number 6. Sleeper Buses. Regular buses may be too ordinary for you, but in Vietnam, you can try out sleeper buses. Sleeper buses are a great way to travel across the country because they are affordable and offer a certain level of comfort. It's quite ingenious when you think about it. However, if you take a sleeper bus, remember to bring warm clothing because the air conditioning is usually set at a very low temperature. Essentially, they take regular buses, remove all the seats, and customize them to become sleeping beds. It's quite comfortable for shorter individuals, but if you're taller and not a fan of strong air conditioning, it might not be the most enjoyable experience. Tickets for a sleeper bus are very affordable, and you can travel halfway across the country for about $20. Also, always choose night journeys to save on accommodation costs, as you can get a good night's sleep on the sleeper bus while traveling through different provinces and cities. Don't forget to haggle for the best price. Number 7. Remember to haggle. When shopping in Vietnam, haggling is absolutely crazy. Everyone bargains to lower prices, and if you're unfamiliar with the costs and can't negotiate, they may try to charge you more. Many people may not be used to bargaining before coming to Vietnam, but once you're here, you'll realize that some pay as little as one-third of the initial price. As a result, you'll start to consider how you can secure a similar deal. Haggling isn't overly challenging because sellers want to make a sale. However, some may refrain from negotiating and then feel cheated when they realize the actual value of the item wasn't as high as they paid. Even after bargaining, you may still end up paying slightly more than the locals, but that's generally acceptable. So what can you do to negotiate a good price and purchase what you want at the market? Firstly, don't let sellers know how much you like something. Be calm and offer a price that is 30% lower than the original asking price. Then negotiate for a final price of around 50%. Number 8. Vietnamese Coffee. Coffee enthusiasts may find it interesting to know that Vietnam is currently the world's second largest exporter of coffee, following Brazil. Coffee was first introduced to Vietnam by the French in the 1800s and was cultivated in highland areas. Production rose significantly after the Vietnam War, and in recent years, Vietnam produces over 1 million ton of coffee annually. Vietnam is also home to one of the most expensive coffees in the world, known as Kopi Luwin. This specialty coffee can cost up to around $150 per kilogram. Its unique and pricey nature comes from a digestion process where civets eat coffee cherries, and the beans are collected from their feces, resulting in extremely aromatic coffee with vanilla notes and a sweet taste. Despite the French introduction, the Vietnamese have transformed coffee into their unique style, typically using a small metal drip filter over a cup, with most preferring black coffee with ice and sometimes condensed milk. Moreover, Vietnam is the world's largest exporter of Robusta coffee, with Vietnamese Robusta coffee brands gaining recognition and winning awards at international coffee competitions. Organizations like Rainforest Alliance, UTS, and Fair Trade certify Vietnamese Robusta coffee for meeting international quality and standards. Number 9. Terrifying foods. Vietnam has a rich culinary culture with diverse dishes. However, some of its foods may terrify people. One example is dua, a coconut worm. This specialty from the Mekong Delta is prepared in various ways, including grilling and frying, but the most haunting method is when it's soaked in fish sauce and eaten raw. The larvae live in the coconut tree trunks and can wriggle when picked up to eat. Another terrifying dish is blood pudding made from the blood of animals such as duck, goose, or pig, mixed with minced meat and peanuts, and served with basil leaves and boiled liver. It is enjoyed as an appetizer with a sweet and refreshing taste. However, it's not recommended due to the high risk of harmful bacteria and viruses that can cause stomach pain and poisoning. Duck embryo eggs are also a common and nutritious dish in Vietnam, often eaten with salt, ginger, and cilantro. However, the sight of duck embryo eggs, which resemble a duckling, can be frightening for international tourists, and they may find it cruel to eat a duck embryo taken from inside the egg. Number 10. Wearing pajamas outside. Pajamas or loungewear are typically only worn at home or to bed. 
However, in Vietnam, it's common to see people wearing pajamas throughout the day, selling pho, taking walks, and even going on dates in pajamas. This practice is not limited to middle-aged people. Young people also enjoy wearing casual clothes outside. This is completely different from other countries where people often dress up while going outside out of respect for others. Due to Vietnam's hot climate, the fabric used for making sleepwear is very soft and cool, so people love to wear this type of clothing at home and even when going out for shopping or other activities. Another reason why people in Vietnam wear sleepwear outside is that it resembles a long sleeve shirt and long pants, which do not reveal anything inappropriate or offensive. Therefore, besides the tradition, people often wear sleepwear outside for convenience. So the next time you see women selling street food wearing this type of outfit, it shouldn't come as too much of a surprise. Tourists often feel very welcomed in Vietnam as the locals' empathy and care for each other create a home-like atmosphere. This friendliness might sometimes be overwhelming if you dislike excessive noise, as public places can be lively with people arguing or using hand gestures, which might surprise tourists. Thank you for joining me through these fascinating facts about Vietnam. If any of these surprising facts have impressed you, please feel free to comment and share your thoughts. Goodbye.